Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a seven-year disaster battle playing as the Court of Libaris going up against the Dwarfs. So, we've got two armies and so do they. Um, not a whole lot of Winds of Magic. That actually, oh, it's really calm in the area. That's really going to hurt us. And uh, our armies are meh. They're okay. Not terrible. Not good either. And uh, their armies are heavy duty. This is late game dwarf armies coming at us. So I don't think this balance of power is correct at all. If we order resolve this, we will get completely annihilated and th that won't be worth it. So anyway, let's jump in here. We definitely don't want to control a large army because I've got a plan and that requires reinforcements to come in slowly. So the plan's this basically. We need to make some sacrifices at the start to get rid of key units that they've got in the battlefield, specifically their cannons. The map is too small. We need to get rid of the cannons because they've just got so much reach. Once we get rid of the cannons, their other artillery will be the last ones to show up on the battlefield. We basically don't even need to worry about them. So the cannons have to be top priority. And we're essentially going to have to sacrifice more balance of power than it's worth to get rid of... Not that it's worth. Just We're not going to trade well for balance of power at the beginning. It's going to... It's going to... We're going to get wrecked at the start. But it might give us a tactical advantage by doing so. So what we need to do... Um, this one, like, this is a really good unit, but it's, it's slow, and in this battle here, if we want to win, we need speed. So, as I've said so many times before, when you build an army, you need, a, you need to have a plan, you need to have, like, the team has to have a plan. And you can't just be like, that's a strong warrior, that's a strong warrior, this, this, and this. Mix and match as army are some of the, 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 like, the weakest things that you can do in this game. Doesn't work very well. But if you come up with, like, just enhance your strength as much as possible, you can get big advantages over it. So in this battle here, our speed will be advantageous to us because they can't get much speed, apart from their slayers, uh, which we we can outrun them still. All right, so yeah, that's a, it is a strong unit, but it's going to lag us behind. Now, let's have a look at these heroes. So you're probably just wanting to train them up, fair enough. But because these Tomb Princes are on foot, they're not really going to be of much value to us. Definitely want to keep the wizard. You got like um, arcane conduit there, which is good. So I'm assuming he has to be at least rank 12. He could have gotten a horse. Yeah, look, um, I don't want to withdraw him from the battlefield, but I might have to. We'll see how we go. But yeah, these four here, they'll be withdrawn. I know it seems silly withdrawing the general from the battlefield, but we'll only take a temporary morale penalty from that. Then, um, hang on, everyone just get back. Right, these here will be sacrificed at the start. Not sacrificed, but we go, they're, they're not going to survive, basically. Um, and it's not going to trade well for Balance of Power, but we want to get the Realm of Souls with Shabti as soon as possible so that we can drop it down on their cannons. It is absolutely critical we get rid of their cannons. If we get rid of their cannons and can manage to get all of our forces together, we're going to be super strong, way stronger than they can deal with. Okay, we're going to need you to help take out the cannons too. You're going to go around that way. I'm going to need you guys to help with the cannons. Go around the other way. So I'm actually going to flank. Speed 54. I'm going to keep these guys in reserve over here. Protect them for the time being. Can we get some more wins? Doesn't matter if we don't. Eh, whatever. Okay, so just stand back there to begin with. Start getting around there. We want to get those cannons. Move up. Move up. And start the arcane conduit. Just keep them in reserve. We are primarily aiming for cannons. Giant Slayers, okay, yeah. If we can get the archers to get rid of Giant Slayers, that would be ideal. Alright, let's withdraw these guys. No, yeah, yeah, do it now. Do it now. We'll take a bit of a morale penalty, but they're just of no value to us right now, and I'd rather get Kalita organized sooner rather than later. So just keep them distracted. Here comes Kalita, bring her in. Okay, Tomb Guard coming in. Get rid of them. They're just of no value. You, are you on foot? Yep, you are. Get rid of you. You, over here. That needs to be the rally point over there. Okay, 
Just get the Tomb Guard off the battlefield. I know some people will be like, what's he doing? Get rid of Tomb Guard, they're really strong. We don't need them in this battlefield. They're slow, we don't need them. We need, we need fast. Okay, they're probably damaging their own units a fair bit there. The Slayers are definitely not good to be here. Pop that down there. It's good, the Chariots did a good job here. Get them off the battlefield. We need our fast units and they're at the back end of the battle. We don't get to choose what order things come in. That's it. Get them off the battlefield. That's all we need to be doing is getting rid of the cannons. That's it. Okay, it all... Honestly, that actually went really well. It might seem like we took a lot of damage and we did some stupid things, but that actually went really, really well. Uh, okay, hang on. Before... We should really try to get rid of these giant slayers. Um, you can always replace archers very easily. They're shattered, they're gone. And the artillery... Okay, no, hang on. The artillery over here are not going to get wiped out because of the, uh, the slayers. Unfortunately, we have to get rid of the cannons because we've got necropolis knights coming in and they, uh, they don't do well around cannons. So, the Ashabti didn't really do their job there, but it was the Slayers that prevented them. So, Archers are actually doing really well there. Get rid of those Slayers, because that's... That's like one of the fastest units they've got. Okay, we've broken them, kind of. I think they just got terrified. We've got to make sure that they either shatter or die. Start getting reorganized soon. Okay, good. They, they wiped out those slayers. Really well done. Get over here. Okay, maybe get over here, distract them. I might leave Kalita behind, actually. We've got these abilities here, but I'll use that in a bit. 5 out of 32. They can still operate one of the cannons. You get over here. Okay. Yeah. No, you're just going to have to get away from that. Come on, get out. Oh, I think this guy's just kind of stuck. Should have pulled out a bit earlier there, but there's still, the problem is there's still the cannon here. So they've brought in some more reinforcements, whatever, that doesn't really matter that much. I'm glad I didn't withdraw these archers. We've still got two more sepulchral stalkers to come in. Did we lose? No, no, we lost one. Yeah, yeah. Lost one um, scorpion. Alright, cool. The slayers are all dead. Alright. I don't. Yeah, see, so they're getting back on the artillery there. Shit. Try to. Um, I want to try to use these guys' ammo up. Alright. I can't, I can't get closer because of the, um, shh. This might work, it might not. Ah, uh, you need to stop shooting. We need to get reorganized. We're just a bloody mess at the moment. Right, 
Don't need to wipe them out. Because that'll just bring in more units on the battlefield. we got to get reorganized. Alright. The hard part's over. We've cut off their legs. Kind of. Well, we've still got to get rid of that cannon. It's not good enough that that's still alive. But Kalita can just go... Um... The chariot. Yeah, we'll send the chariots over there. Because they've left it kind of isolated. You're going to have to go around the wide way. Alright, now these archers. Doesn't matter if they get sacrificed, but it, they've done well, so I don't really want to sacrifice them. But at the same time, now we need to trade better for Bouncer Power. God damn it, the fact that there's still one ca Oh no, two cannons operating. We almost did what we needed to do. But just those fucking slayers prevented our realm of souls and Sharpti from doing much. Okay, we should be able to beat this with them, because they, they can just keep healing. Yes. There's not that many slayers. Think they get shot by the cannons. Oh, that may not have been good there. I think I may have kind of missed. Can I just a little bit of morale damage? Yeah, that was a waste. gonna have to pull in through here. They might have to essentially sacrifice this entire unit of chariots just to touch these cannons. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Might try something else. You guys start moving around over here. Because if we kill the general, that unit will break. It's only got five leadership. Two leadership. But yeah, killing him is going to take some time. We still have more Sepulchral Stalkers to come in. Just let them do their thing. They're doing a good job there. Alright, which one's on horseback? This one? Alright, let's use some magic. How much do we have? 54. Ideally, let's try to get rid of the iron breakers. Did they... No, they didn't break. Okay, they should have no trouble getting rid of these slayers. Oh shit, the cannons caught up with them. Just a bit longer, because we've killed the enemy general. They're bound to break. If it wasn't on legendary difficulty, they would have broken. Okay, just want to try to get them as close together as possible. And also get them to stop moving. That was a waste. It went the wrong way. Oh well. That happens. That's a shame. Did it break? Yeah, we broke we broke the um, the cannons. For now. Just have them keep they're almost out of ammo. I should withdraw them from the battlefield though rather than get them killed. Did we did kill the general, didn't we? Oh, he, fucking hell, how'd he get away? God damn it. Shit. We had him, how did you let him get away? Bloody idiot. Go 
We should be able to outrun hammerers. So yeah, that banishment sucked. Okay. We really gotta get reorganized. This is a big old mess. Now you get around over here. Maybe shoot at those iron breakers a bit. Let's get them off the battlefield now. So yeah, we still got two more sepulchral stalkers to come in. I gotta get reorganized here because it's just this is just a mess. They might end up rallying. Okay, let's draw him from the battlefield. Not sure if those chariots are going to actually be able to handle... Okay, hang on. With with um, extra reinforcements, they should be able to handle it. Still a bit of big mess, but we're slowly fixing things up. Bugman's Rangers are absolutely wrecking our chariots. God, that absolutely sucked that the uh, the general fled. We we had him. Oh, they still got slayers here. Our chariots aren't doing amazingly well there. Get in there, smash them all up. They don't have that much ammo left anyway. Thing is, I can still heal these chariots a fair bit if they can get close to Kalida. Alright, now might be a good opportunity. Pop down another banishment. Ah, damn it. No, cancel it, cancel it. Okay, that's actually not going too bad. I don't think we took any casualties there. See, this is what we wanted. This is a way, way stronger now. We can actually take them on in small fights. How'd that go? Did it completely miss again? God damn, magic's really failing us in this battle. And see, now they're actually quite disorganized. We got forces all over the place. This is what we wanted to see. Okay, withdraw you from the battlefield. You're same with thing with you. Just leave. I'll find a way to get this guy, these guys, um, back home. All right, you're out of ammo. Um, withdraw from the battlefield. Sepulchral so stalkers should be able to outrun slayers. Yeah. Get over there. That's it. This is the ability that will help us win the battle here. We should be able to win this engagement here. And now they come at us in waves. This is what we want to see. Yeah. Oh, they actually got wiped out. No, it doesn't matter. Alright, so now I'm going to try to get these guys over here. Basically, we want to be using our full force up against small portions of their forces. That's what we need to be doing. We don't have any more slow units on the battlefield apart from this wizard. I 
I'd use this ability, but it has such a bloody long recharge time. Oh, maybe we should hit them over here at the back. And the Iron Breakers aren't going to do any serious damage to, to Constructs. Are they coming in on Force March? They are, yes, good. So what we need to do now is win, and that second army gets wiped out. Another thing, it might be important to stay back here for when their artillery shows up. Because we need, definitely need somebody to just take that out right away. It's not going to hurt our constructs. Good, we're actually getting some kills this time. Fucking cannons back. Um, oh, god damn it, that one motherfucking cannon will just not leave me alone. Hang on, I got an idea, I got an idea. Shem's Burning Gaze. Oh, they're absolutely wrecking my Necropolis Knights. Get a clear shot on... Oh, God, I got even quite close. Just one cannon can do so much damage. This should... This should finish it off. They can get to it. Slayer is incoming now. But it's okay. With overwhelming construct forces like this, they should do okay against Slayers. The uh, the Necropolis Knights are really taking a beating. I'm going to pull them back since they don't heal quite as easily as the others. And I might need them for running down enemy troops. Taking out the soft units. Okay, finally we get rid of the cannon. What a bitch that cannon was. Bring the sepulchral stalkers over here. Yeah, these two should not be in melee combat. But the constructs are all doing quite well. Alright, this one here can be pulled out. We can use him to shoot again. Might as well. Wasn't really gonna do a whole lot. Better than nothing. Okay, if Iron Drakes are popping in at the back here. You know what? Leave the sepulchral stalkers up this way because they they stalk. They're not gonna be able to see them. Cause you gotta watch out for the uh, Um The organ guns that are gonna come in. They're going to be worth a lot of balance of power, so killing them will basically instantly inflict the army loss penalty. Now we're taking some damage here. If I charge them in, they're just going to get wrecked. Need to pull these guys out, get them ready to shoot up here. They should be okay to just break them. Bring them over here to shoot them. The sharp here taking some damage. Okay, we definitely don't want to lose these Necropolis Knights because you'll need them in other battles. So pull them back and let them have a bit of a rest. Alright, this, this little engagement here is one now. Get them to 
shoot that. But the Scorpions are all doing quite well. Thing is, with the Necropolis Knights, while they've taken a lot of damage, they're, they're also... They've dished out quite a lot as well. Giant Slayers. Alright, here we go. There are the, uh, the organ guns. Alright, just get into melee with them. They'll be easily able to crush them. Get back. Luckily for us, the uh, the organ guns don't have anywhere near as much range as as cannons, so we can get in closer a lot easier. Oh shit! Come on. Smashing up my wizard. It'll be all right. been detected just make a rush for it hopefully you don't get hit too hard with these organ guns because they're not organized the goblubber there that's not going to do any serious damage definitely don't want to sit there and shoot them just get into melee leave him he's not important good instantly getting rid of the well, just about instantly getting rid of the uh, organ guns they just need to leave the battlefield they're on force march so they're gonna get wiped out that was the best thing we wanted to do um, try to take them out before they really came out of the battlefield let's all get together get ready for another another big heal Get some good shots in the side over here. Hi, Queen Kalida. Yes. Ascent. Good. We've won the battle. We've won the battle. We've taken some damage. It's definitely going to be like a Pyrrhic victory. But. Alright, we still got the giant slaves to get rid of. But nothing important got wiped out. Well, actually, no, that's not true. We did lose one uh, Tomb Scorpion, but that was it. That was the only important thing that got wiped out. Everything else was just like skeleton spears or archers. I think leaving them behind there was a really good call because that just, that essentially just got the army loss penalty inflicted on them super quickly. I need to get in a little bit closer. Have a look here, the, the Sphinx is on full strength. It's all thanks to the healing. None of your heroes died because I withdrew them from the battlefield so they, they couldn't get killed. But yeah, if we had just attacked that head on, we would have just taken massive casualties. Like, important casualties, whereas this way, not really. Taking the, bringing the things that are at full strength. No sense in getting things that are already damaged, even further damaged. It's going to take, take them time to recover. We don't need to run them down because um, they're in force march. So yeah, the Venom stuff, I found the biggest problem with them is that she takes ages before she'll actually shoot it, so it's just, it doesn't even do that much damage anyway, it's just, it's just a pain in the ass ability. And in a battle like this, where you just don't have the convenience to be standing around doing nothing for ages, it's just, it's just not worth doing it. That's to be expected, but we managed to make sure the casualties were put into areas that just didn't matter that much. Like, you can replace most of that very easily, you know, apart from the Tomb Scorpion. That's the only thing I really wish didn't get killed. 
I mean, I don't ideally want to get any of it killed. Let's have a look. Yeah, and that one there. I did try to withdraw that from the battlefield, but it got kind of stuck. See, that's only going to affect this army here, not Kalidas. I think you'd be better off with money and campaign movement range. And then we'll have a look at the situation and see what advice I can provide going forward. Whatever the case, the, uh, the dwarves took way more casualties than we did. That's all that remains of their two full stacks. So, what's going on here? Okay. Uh, given the sitch... Uh, I'm assuming you're Canopic Jar Cheesing. Probably not. Should probably do that. You're not really... 112 turns in, you're not Canopic Jar Cheesing. I mean, that's up to you. You do whatever you want. Alright, having a look at this. So, he's rank 11. Okay. Bring me and how'd you level this guy up? Level 17. Ah, oh, you're deaf. I'm gonna do you a bit. Didn't get elixir of immortality either. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, look, you're probably gonna level up as soon as we kill that other army there anyway. I mean, that's definitely, that's not bad stuff. You definitely should have gone Ned of Amantok over fast protection. It's better. Um, Brona's time warp isn't bad, but it's not necessary. Um, Pops, I'll give him the skills to see it after because we're gonna. Oh, he may not. Immortality is kind of more important. And uh, look, let's just finish this off here. Ask Kalida. This guy here should get the win because he needs the experience more. More dwarfs up ahead. And we're virtually at full strength. Well, apart from you know the units that were actually lost before. And here, have some Canopic Jars to replace those that were just lost. Alright, with that, that's the end of this one. Definitely looks like you got some hard fighting ahead. Let me, let me have a quick look at this. Strength rankings, 9. Yeah, you can manage. Just keep your heads on your shoulders and you'll be fine. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time, fuckers.